even though I blow dried my hair, straightened my hair, hot combed my edges and my roots, I'm pretty sure that my curls are going to come back. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Lauren, I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. Don't worry guys, I have got a top on, I promise you. It is just so hot, as you can see by my tan lines. Look at that. Now I know some of you guys around the world are used to this type of heat, but I for one am not. However, amid all this heat, we have got some uh, anti-humidity hair going on here. Yes. So as you can see, I've got some frizzing on my edges right here guys, but are you ready for it? So this is nine days. If you've seen my YouTube shorts or you follow me on Instagram at Miss Lauren 11 you may have seen that I've done a reel on there and I was showing you how nine days later my hair is just still sleek and do you know what? It's even better than day one. As you know, the days progress, your hair usually gets better as it goes along, doesn't it? Yes. So I'm going to show you right now. Look at that, look at that movement guys. Yes guys, this is day nine hair. I haven't re-straightened my hair because that is basically defeating the whole purpose. I may use a hot comb and go over my roots, but again, I don't even need to do that as I have hair products that will lay my edges smooth, flat down, and I've done videos in the past where I'll leave the link in the description box and you can watch those after this video. My ends have uh, no frizz. So I may have sweated out the back a bit. My bedtime maintenance has literally just been me putting my hair in a bun and not up, just in a bun here, like so. Wrapping it round, like that. And then sleeping with my bonnet or on my satin pillowcase. Anyway guys, so what we've really come here to see today is if my curls are going to revert. I, for one, am very confident that they're going to revert. Even though I blow dried my hair, straightened my hair, hot combed my edges and my roots, I'm pretty sure that my curls are gonna come back. So all I'm gonna do is wash, deep condition, detangle with shampoo as I usually do. I've done enough wash day videos you can see. So I will see you in a second guys. Hey everyone, so I'm back. My hair is fully washed and conditioned. But before I get onto that guys, I just want to show you just to confirm, just to confirm it has been nine days that I've been wearing my hair in a hair grease silk press. I'll just show you. So this was the video that I filmed. I filmed it on my phone. That's me silk pressing my hair. If you can see the date, it says the 5th of August. Today is now the 14th, and I've literally just washed out my silk press, and I will show you the date. So it's the 14th of August. Right, so what I'm gonna quickly do, guys, this is not gonna take long. I usually blow dry my hair, just to have it in a stretch style, but to be honest, I'm not really going out for the next few days anyway. So when I'm ready to do my hair, my hair will be stretched out from the style I'm about to do. So before I do any styles, let's have a look. Let's see if my curls came back. Of course they did. Of course they came back. Look at that. Yes, my curls came back, guys. There was just no straightness left in my hair and I'm very happy about that. Yes, the hair grease is amazing heat protectant for my silk press. And now I'm gonna apply some more hair grease. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair into mm, five twists. It's just as efficient as for stretching as doing uh, plaits. I don't necessarily wanna do plaits right now because when I wear my hair in a protective style with the hair extensions, my hair is in plaits. And I feel like plaits, or just for hair, my hair in general, puts a bit more strain onto my hair because it's more taut than a hair twist. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my leave-in conditioner. For the products I'll be using in this video, all the product links will be down below in the description box for you to purchase. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. And the reason why I'm not putting hair grease on that side just for the moment, I just want the leave-in to seep into my strands. As I said, I do have low porosity hair, so it takes slightly longer for liquids to penetrate into my strands. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side, just to make sure my strands are sealed nicely. I'm not gonna put the hair grease on this entire section as a whole. I'm gonna separate it into a subsection, and then I'll apply the hair grease, just to make sure that the hair grease is covering every inch of my hair. I'm gonna go in with my Dax pomade, the green one. Yes, guys, the green one's back. Just for the back section, I'm gonna take that amount. And I'm just gonna start smoothing it all over. Next, I'm just gonna lightly detangle with my wide tooth comb. Just to make sure there's no tangle so my twists can lie flat. When they lie flat, the hair strands are stretched correctly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and twist, guys. If I can feel my hair starting to bunch up, this is how I know that my curls came back nicely because my hair is shrinking up on itself. So the more shrinkage for my hair, personally, the healthier my hair because my hair has that elasticity back. And then I'm just gonna seal the ends with hair grease. Just wrap it around like that.
Okay, so now you've seen me style my hair. It was that quick, it was that simple, it was that easy. What I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna take my Kokotar, Kokotar Dax for, it says extra dry scalp relief. I haven't got extra dry scalp, but I like to put it on my scalp. <laughs> And if you know me and this hair grease, this is my newfound friend. I used to hate the smell. I now love the smell. And I love the hair grease. My hair is still pretty damp, but I'm just going to put it in a hairband. Just leave it like that, guys. So we'll start to air dry, start to do whatever it needs to do. And just basically how I let my hair grow, guys. So as I said, I didn't want to put it in plaits. When I do my protective style with the hair extensions, I have the plaits on it, it's more strain and stress on my hair. So I wanna give my hair a break by putting it in twists, greasing it up, sealing it. So yes guys, that is it. Yes, my curls did come back as you saw without any hesitation. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like or a thumbs up. And if you wanna see my previous video of how I silk press my hair, you can click the video now.